Okay, quick question to all my deep thinkers here. Who do you respect more, a mechanic or a doctor? Doctor, because you can save your life, or a mechanic who can start your car on, on a rainy day? Who do you respect more? Who do you respect more, uh, a really true friend or a psychiatrist? Do degrees really matter in today's day and world? Actually, they do. Actually, they do. Sometimes when people, like, you know, when you go for a job, they look at, I mean, how much you've studied. They wouldn't look at your experience. That's a little hurtful. That's a little judgmental. I, I get it. I, I get it. I feel you guys. I feel you guys. <laughs> but here's where something, here's what I call the comedy of life. Or let's say, uh, a comedy of events, which is a little journey which I'd like to take all of you through. My next poem, which is called The Mechanic and the Psychologist. Ready to wear your thinking hats now, guys. Here we go. There was once a psychologist whose car had broken down. The mechanic that was closest was at the other end of town. So he took the vehicle to the mechanic's shop, and on the shop's door was a sign that said, Stop. Promptly came the mechanic, soiled the tire and all, and hastily started to work on the doctor's old war hall. So, you study minds, inquired the mechanic. But tell me, are we all well, or are we equally sick? The conditions and fears are our own, replied the psychologist. Uh, some cases are normal and some unknown. Perplexed by the answer he asked, I tinker with parts and pipes of cars, but you tinker with minds, which are covered in scars. So how do you conquer and come to a solution when the problem would just increase in this confusion? The good doctor was quite perplexed at the genius of this illiterate, being just a mechanic. Yet, he was so considerate. Yes, replied the psychologist to the mechanic. You tend to cars, and I tend to the mentally sick. See, we aren't that far apart. We both have the same problem, and the solution would be to start. As you figure the problem of the car, I try to figure the history of a scar. As you try to rearrange pipes, I try to rearrange a way out of life. So there it was, as it had always been, two peoples worlds apart, met in a car junkyard, a bin. As one drove off, the other retired within. <laughs> so which one was smarter? You decide, the one who was a psychologist, or the one who slept with the junk beside. Cheers, guys. As I sit down to pen my thoughts, of all the battles I have ever fought, to never find what I needed to seek, because the world condemned me as weak. <laughs>